Mario right. as of late. But typically, Master Mario still leads the charm. The charm, I'm sorry, yeah. leads the charge in terms of sets right. played over. Master Mario has still more winnings yeah. against Dom, but at time to thaw, Dom did take the whole tournament, beating out Elegant, beating out Master Mario, and beating out Ketchup. Yeah. So we'll see when Oteka has anything to do about it. Getting the upset over Ketchup, uh, currently ranked 13 in SoCal. Right. I know T3 is definitely looking forward to fighting Elegant just because he knows that Elegant has historically struggled with the Belmonts. Oh yeah. You know. So we're probably going to see the, the if T3 wins. We're probably going to see uh, T3 play Richter versus the Diddy. Okay. But yet again, we will see. Can T3 beat Noteka, who's going Wario instead of Mario? This is a character I'm actually su surprised to see coming out from Noteka. But we'll see how I'm looking in like a button warm up. Okay, so far, yeah. All right. I mean, yet again, Wario's a very technical character in which, like, you have to know all your auto cancels. You have to know how your character moves in terms of spacing and aerial drift, you know? Yeah. And, and I don't, people, I, people just see, oh, up air, up air, up air, up till waft, you know? Yeah. And they think, like, oh, well, it's easy. Anybody can do that. But, like, if you try actually doing it yourself, like, doing it while also being safe and responding to your opponent's movement and drift, you know? Playing Wario at the high level is super hard to do. Yeah. It, it's simply a reason why we only have, per se, one top level Wario. I don't even uh, think well, we have actually, a top level Wario. Actually, two. No, sorry. In terms of the grand scheme, like in terms of PGR, we only have two Warios. That would be Tweak and Gluttony. Mm. For a reason, right? It's not a right. character anybody can pick up. Like you said, you kind of have to have the skill set and the skill knowledge to understand what percents am I able to get lost with Wario right. and at what area am I live, uh, safe on shields, especially in terms of frames right. and in spacing. And you know what? Like, a lot of Wario stuff is, you know, it's lagless. It's uh, like, hey, I, I can do this and basically land for free. But it's also not a disjoint, meaning that, like, if you have a good disjoint or if you have a good, like, challenging move, you can beat it out. But, you know what? Going off for the Mario instead, you know, maybe warming up the character, be like, okay, this is my button warm up. Let me play a faster character. Yeah. All right, so far, the one thing I'm liking from Noteka, he's trying to sense out T3 for a good reason. He doesn't want to go ahead and commit and get hit by any of the aerials or the whip in general. And it's for a good option, right? Like, the, the, it can definitely just go ahead and snowball in terms of the percent that you are taking from Richter. And, you know, this is one of those matchups where, like, you know, usually you see Richter's like to throw out the cross and whatnot, except he can't really throw it out in this matchup just because uh, Fireball beats it out. And if Mario reads the cross once, he can land in with falling up there and just eat so much percent for him because you yeah. throw out cross. We're taking doing an excellent job coming back on the stage here. Dash attack to get him off the face. T3 knows, you know what, I can't let Mario get close to me for that reason. And that's kind of what we're understanding why T3 goes for aerial cross at times. Not only will it allow him to confirm into other aerials, but it also avoids it getting caved. And if he is going for cross on the ground, it's because Noteka has nowhere to be found on the stage. Right. And I love what Noteka is doing. He realizes, that, like, okay, I got hit by cross, or not cross, by holy water. So I'm going to hard DI up and away and try to jump out of it. And that's how you got a DI double uh, on cross for holy water. You know, you die up and try to jump it away, and they don't get anything off of it. Or at least they're not going to get the the forward smash off of it. Yeah. Pick up? No, not even the sweet spot of forward. That would have been nice for Noteka, but he's able to stop the recovery from the tether with a neutral layer. Really good understanding too, because the Belmonts do have a really good tether, and if you diagonally angle it at a 45 degree angle, you're able to recover much deeper. Oh yeah, but on the same note, if you throw out a hitbox in between Belmont and the wall in the corner, you're not gonna be able to recover. Yeah, again, throwing out the cross to kind of cover the ledge option right there. And you know what? He likes to hang on ledge, and you know what? He's just eating more and more percent slowly by the fire. Nice. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to get himself across the play, goes for a back air. At this point, T3 with a lot of the setup, I, and I feel like the reason why is because Noteka is now very scared of going for a roll getup, which is why he's going, honestly just opting to try to go for an option at, at any point. He's stuck at the ledge, and he knows if he goes for a neutral getup, he might get confirmed into a forward right. smash from the from the holy water. But if he goes for a roll getup, he's taking a lot more damage either way. Right. And finally, getting that kill at 200% with fair. 
And that's kind of the bad thing about playing Belmont is that you can get people up to high percent, but actually killing them, if they don't fall for the Holy Water setup, they're going to live for like a large amount of percent. Yeah, most definitely. Nice, pushing with shield here. Trying to give respect to the forward tilt. I believe forward tilts usually are between 12 to 14 frames, but it's frame one on the return, making a pretty solid option in the neutral. Uh, I oh. like that from the duck. He wanted to catch him on the landing, but unfortunately that up smash was so much commitment that T3 was able to get the bigger punish. Right. And you know what? He read the defensive roll in, and you know he read that, got the grab, but just didn't commit to the back air in time, so didn't get the punish off of it. Oh, that's oh. it? No. no not yet. Yeah. Not even up yet, because it's stealing on uh, Final Destination. All right. And yet again, we see Belmont just throwing out all these whips, and you know, just sending out that wall of pain where like you really don't want to approach it. Yeah, I mean, T2 is taking his time, and he knows, you know what? The slow and steady game, 115, we're at four minutes on the clock. I have the lead, I have the time. I'm gonna have to wait for no to go ahead and falter and fall into one of my options. Really good understanding of using the holy water, then going for a backup, but also covering the roll get up of the four tilt and forcing that option out from no at the ledge. He knows if he's not gonna come to me, I'm gonna have to force him out. Like so. Really good use of empty hop and when no Tucker thought it was safe to come back. He he did not anticipate Ricky having enough time even after the dash back. And finally gets the kill with the back air. You know, and that's kind of the, the hard thing about playing Mario in this matchup is that you get walled out so easily. Oh yeah. You know, and if you just don't find your opportunity to get in, you're just going to get slowly nickeled and dime until finally one of those aerials are going to kill you. I mean, the one thing that Mario can definitely struggle is against disjoints. Being a very much momentum based character with grabs, grab combos, back airs and damage output like falling up air and down air but the biggest problem that he's gonna have to suffer against a character like Richter who's really good at keeping his opponent at bay but also the way that T3 understands like you know what if no Tekka is afraid of being at the ledge I have to find other ways to force him out that's right. one thing Dom is accelerating One, go. Yet again, we're just seeing that wall of pain coming out from Dom right now. Every time Noteka wants to get in, Dom's just saying, no, I'm going to throw out a hitbox right where you want to be. Nice, good cover up from T3, understanding the cross up here. Good opportunity on the re-grab there. If you, uh, that's kind of one of the things that Holy Water does have. So you can definitely re-grab it if it has been shot back or reflected. And again, amazing angles coming out from him too, just keeping Mario like guessing of like, is he gonna attack me directly or is he trying to get a cover my jump? Yeah. I respect it from Sandy. He doesn't want to get up because he knows what it means here, but he finally finds the opportunity after the holy water and gets in with our grab here. Following in some percent here, but unfortunately a missed free grab. And yet again, just barely whipping, but you know what? That sweet spot for Till will take it. Yeah. Well, that was cute landing with the the side B after the nair. Yeah. I mentioned earlier how T3 loves to get combos off of the specials. Yeah. Good angle forward there once more. Is it going to keep no tech away as much as possible? Nice. And even though he sees the jump up with no tech, he goes with him as well, trying to get a forward there. And I like how he used the cross to kind of cover his landing back on the stage. But, you know, Noteca is just struggling to find his way in. Uh, roll get up and he narrowly escapes the forward smash. Sorry, forward tilt. Nice. Ooh. Able to save the jump at the last second before he gets hit by the up smash. T3 at 127, Noteca at 78. T3 has the right game plan in mind. Noteca wants to go for a grab. He wants to go for a falling aerial. If I stop him before any of those plans get executed or put into play, I'm the one taking the bigger victory here. All right. But can we just talk about how T3 perfectly spaced that down B so that it would hit Noteca as soon as he tried to two-frame the ledge, and yeah. then he went for the forward smash immediately? 
And I have to commend Oteka as well. He's not he's not faltering at the ledge. He knows, you know what, at this point, I'd rather take the damage from the Holy Water than to commit fully to a normal getup or a roll getup because if I get caught, a forward smash is what I'm going to eat. Okay. Oh, what a combo and a turnaround here. I'm pretty sure at this point, T3 is playing ping ball, pinball. Yeah. Yuppie getting him back to stage, trying to end it all with that fair. You know Belmonts are feeling comfortable when they go off stage like this and oh. go take a... Yeah, he, he, he doesn't sense it out. At this point, like, I, I respect it. You know what? He doesn't like where it's going. It's such a tough battle. So far to come back on the stage. He would rather...